Hey y'all, thanks for coming to kick it with me, Nikki Nick. So today, we're going to be doing a taste test. Now actually, this video actually pretty much changed. Like initially, I was gonna do like 10 food combinations that like are five. But then I thought about it and I was like, I am not mentally prepared to do that video today because if they wanted 10 food combinations equals at least two things to go together. So at least two, at least a pair of things. So that's like 20 things at least I was gonna have to shop for today and I did not have it in my mind to do all that shopping. And I had went to this one bakery already as y'all saw and I already had some things that like I had never tried before. And then I went to a grocery store and with the thought of doing like the 10 food combinations and as I had the epiphany that like, I, I can't do this today. I cannot shop for all that stuff today. I was like, I'll just do a taste test. I'll just buy some things that I've never tried before. So here are a few things I have not tried before. And actually I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. Like when I try new foods, I'm like pretty excited about them. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. What low key though, one of my like low key dreams is to be like a food person. Like I haven't, I ain't gonna say like exactly having I still haven't said that. Like, having a food channel would low-key be a dream. I, I know. I like music. I make music. I make music. But still, like, another hustle that I would love to have is, like, making money off eating food. Because I love food. Like, one thing I always say, like, I want to try all the variety the world has to offer me. And even though it's not just food, food is one of the number one things that I want to try variety of. So I love things and food. So it's pretty much something I already do anyway. I always try new stuff. Like if I see something, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Let me put a pillow on my back. I'm looking uncomfortable. Okay, I'm back. I had to put some pillows behind me because I was uncomfortable how I was sitting. But like, food is just, I just love food. And like, I low-key admire, I'm not low-key. I high-key admire food people. Like people have to do food. When Anthony Bourdain, I think he pronounced his last name Bourdain, when he passed away, I was like so sad. My feelings were hurt because I love that show. And like that, even though I was eating that food, like that show brought joy to me. I just love watching him eat all those new things. So here we are trying new foods. I'm pretty excited to be honest with you. Cause like I've tried stuff from this bakery. I have this thing where like, anywho, I have this thing where like, if I try for a place that I know is fine, I'm trying to see what that menu's talking about. Like, I'm trying to try everything else you got to offer me. Like, I'm trying to try everything. Like, I would run down, like, a whole restaurant's menu to try all that stuff. If I try one thing that's super good there, I'm going to have faith in you. So, I think that applies to them. I've tried, like, so much of their stuff. Toulouse, they're a bakery. I think they're, like, a, they're a Korean, French-inspired bakery or something like that. I saw them. You know how I found them? I found them watching an ASMR video. This is one channel where they, Kim and Liz, Liz and Kim, they're like a mom and daughter and they be banging on sweets and I just watch it. And one day they tried this, they tried this cake from there. I was like, ooh, that look good. So I Googled it. I said, where's this? And luckily we have one in the vicinity. So like I started going over there. Like I started going over there in the summertime. I started going over there in the summertime, I think. Yeah. Like throughout the pandemic, when the pandemic started, I started going. And I was just like, bang. Like I was just trying different things. That was like low key. What like uplift my spirit is like trying new stuff from them. I would like go there at the end of the week after my long stressful semester, after my long school week, I would go try some new pastries. But that's why I know that's gonna be good. I'm kind of nervous about this. I've been wanting to try like black bean sauce. I want to try black bean noodles because I watch food channels and I be seeing them. And I wanted to try them. I think you pronounce it like Jia Jia Mian. I want to try it so bad, and I saw the store, and I figured I tried at the store before I tried at a restaurant to get like get my mind on it. Cause if I buy it at a restaurant and I pay like you know like fifteen dollars or something for it, and I'm not, I don't like it. I'm gonna feel the type of way. So I was like, I'll try it at home. Even though this was not that cheap. This was like five dollars, and the rice was pre cooked, which I I didn't know because I wasn't paying attention to the box. I didn't read it fully, but the rice was pre cooked, so I'm kind of skeptical. I'm like, mm, I'm kind of skeptical, but I was like, I don't know. We'll see. Even if I don't like it though, I'm still low key gonna try it at a restaurant to see how it's supposed to be done. That's the thing, like, if I try one thing at a restaurant, I'm not gonna automatically write it off because I don't like it that way. Unless it's like, like the fundamentals of the flavor that I don't like. But I like to, I would give people like another chance because somebody may not, this may not be that good, but like, I know if they do it at a restaurant, it'll probably taste better. Like, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's why, especially with like 
things from other countries because you gotta know like not everybody can cook and that applies to everything so you may try one place and they damn near don't know how to cook but you try somewhere else and they know how to cook so i think i'm gonna try this first i'm gonna try this first i'm gonna try these first just because this is the thing i want i'm nervous about i don't want to see this is let's see i'm gonna see this is how it looks like inside can you see it we have the sauce and the rice I'm skeptical. I feel the type of way buying rice outside because we stay with rice at home. So I don't, I don't like buying rice outside because we stay with some white rice. We be having like two big old bags of jasmine rice on the go, on the ready. So I don't like buying rice outside, but here goes. Let's I'm not fooling with this. I'm not fooling with this one. You know, you gotta get you like at least three bites just to make sure <laughs> that these are growing you. Mm -hmm. It has that like, you know, when something is preserved, that type of taste. Like, you know, like when you eat like raviolis or something like that, tomato sauce thing, it has, a, you know, it has a certain type of preservative type taste. That's lucky you are tasting this. I'm trying to figure out, it, it reminds me of something. The smell reminds me of something too, but I can't put my finger on it. One more, one more bite, this to make sure. No. I'm not feeling this. I, I'm gonna still try it in a restaurant because I know if I try the restaurant, I would think differently of it. I just know the reason why too, I don't like cooking things. Like something I never tried before, I wanna try it somewhere else before I cook it myself to know like, how I'm supposed to taste and if I could just cook it better anyway, you know. But since I don't have any idea of how to really make it myself, I'm gonna try it first. But that was so so I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna wash it down with a drink. So I, first I got these I got this half of the stuff besides these. I got these from Mariano's. These are from like the little international I, I forgot what country it's from this was in like it started with a w but this is where like the like english stuff be like you know things from like london and stuff they eat over there like the little chocolates and stuff it seemed fine you know when this say drink it's gonna be foul when it's saying drink it's gonna be fine so i'm gonna try it let's see how do i open this i'm scared like this oh like ooh, oh you just pe oh it peeled it peeled it be over that just pops out. Oh, that's wrong. Let's see. It's a hundred calories, eight ounces. So I guess like that's about your average pop calories. This is a juice. This is a juice. Whoa. Whoa. It's kind of fat. That was kind of fat. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was good. That was kind of, this is valid. This is valid. I don't really drink juice or pop like that. Well, I'm not trying to try some because I'm like, it tastes like, but I don't really drink pop or juice like that. But this is fine though. Bitch. 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 Let me set this down. Oh, let me put this back on top. I'm gonna spill it. Bitch, now I gotta try this one. Now I gotta try this one. I'm gonna try this. That was fine. I don't really drink a lot of pop and juice. Like, if I do drink juice, I water it down. If I do drink pop, it, I'll like drink like a half, like maybe like a half a can of pop in the course of like three days. That's how I drink that stuff. But bitch, that was kind of fire. Let's see what it is. I'm trying this now because I see all this, I got all this savory stuff. I mean, I got all this sweet stuff. So this is not going to hit as hard if I eat all this sweet and I try this later. Since I just ate that and it's savory, so.
This bitch vibe. You know what this reminds me of? What was, this reminds me of a, um, what was that juice box? The juice box, you know, they was dumb juice box. They was them girlies of the juice box. Like, they was them bad bitches of juice boxes. Oh, uh, what Juicy juice. This reminds me of a flavor of juicy juice. Get another sip. Oh my gosh. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Those are looking fine. So I'll tell you about the flavor. Let's see. The flavors are quite exquisite. Where the apples and the cherries intertwine. And the peaches and the oranges. It's a twine. Bring forth a feeling of serenity, a feeling of bliss, as your tongue is submerged in flavors. Chef's kiss. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is oh, how do I explain this? I I know I describe this so shitty to y'all. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know, but like I don't say it's terrible. Obviously, I ate like four bites of this stuff, so. But this is not something that I want to like waste my calories on. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. Also, this came with a little spoon, but I ate with a fork because I like to eat rice with a fork. Hmm. What time I want to try next? I don't know. Should I try something from Juice Too Lejeune? Oh, yeah, I tried this. So this is called, I think this is called a milk bread. Even though there's like another thing there that's a milk bread that's in like a kind of like, oh, maybe it's called a milk bun. Never mind. So this is a milk bread. What I'm thinking about is a milk bun. I know this is going to be fine because they bakery, they bakery be fine. They breads they make there are good. Let's see this. I tried like a um, I tried a honey bread there, so I think that's what this gonna taste like, and that was good. So. There's something going on in the middle, so I'm gonna guess that's what the milk comes in, the milk bread part comes in. Top of crumbs. Ooh, this is, this is gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. That boy hits. That boy hits. That boy hits. That boy hits. I love bread. I love carbs. You know that video where that dude was like, just he was eating that. He was eating a bread sandwich. He's like, yeah. I'm about that. I make that bread. Hold on, hold on, nigga. Why you eating straight bread? Wonder. Cause that's all I'm making, baby. Okay, that's real nigga shit right there. That's all I'm on my mom. <laughs> none, there's nothing in between that bread. Let me see between that bread. Nothing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so why you eating that bread? Cause that's all I'm making. <laughs> I love bread like that. Like I love bread. I love carbs. I eat a potato sandwich. That's how much I love carbs. I can eat a rice sandwich. That's how much I like carbs. So this this is a hit to me. Let's see what else I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this thing. Oh, this is like this is like 400 like 50 calories. If you notice, I'm not gonna eat all of this in one sitting because that's too many damn calories. But this is like 450 calories if I recall. So because I'm not just gonna munch all this up, I'm probably gonna give some to my brother too. Cause when I try stuff and I like it, I want people to try it too. You know, my brother's reactions, they are so anticlimactic. He like, it's good, it's good, like that's it. And then my oldest, my, okay, so my first oldest brother, he's like, it's good, it's good, it's okay, it's okay, it's good. Like, that's just like two descriptions of like things I love to try. But my second oldest brother, the one that's younger than him, like he gonna give me the reaction I'm looking for. So I'm like, gonna try it too. I don't even know what this is called. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's not a lot of, okay, it's some English. I don't know what country this is from. Somebody let me know if you know. It's Katarzynski, Katarzynski, Katarzynski's. I'm gonna call them Katarzynski's. If you know how to pronounce this, let me know. I don't know what country this is from. I'll show you, like you saw the little, um, 
I got from like the little international section and I took a like little video of the whatever country's section I was from. Let's see. I don't know. It looks like cookies covered in chocolate. We gonna see. Ooh, I smell the chocolate. Since I opened that smell the chocolate. Let's see. They're 100 calories. Wait, no. I take that back. They're like 300 calories. Yeah, they're like, damn, it's 390. It's 393 calories. Damn. Christ. Per 100 grams. How many grams is this? I can see. Ooh. This is good. Damn. So this is probably like half of these is like three. Wait, so half of these are 300 calories? Yeah, I don't know. We don't got them. But this was not a cookie. I'm, I was expecting a, a crunch. That's what I was expecting. Man. It's not, it's not grunt. This is from some European country. I don't know. I can't tell you right now. I'll, I'll probably put like the name if I figure out where it's from. It's, it's like, okay, it's not terrible, but it's not something I want to waste my calories on. Like I said before, I'm picky. I am selective on things I will eat a whole meal of, you know? Or I will eat, like, the whole thing of, and I don't know. It's, like, soft. You have that chocolate flavor. Like, the kind of dark chocolate flavor. I love dark chocolate, so I don't mind that. And it's, like, airy and soft. And it's like, I don't know how to describe it. I'm gonna find some adjectives to describe this stuff, y'all, because this is not, I should not just be saying I'm gonna describe it. But it's like dark chocolatey, and it's kind of soft. I almost, I almost thought I was buying into like nougat, but it's not exactly nougat, it's bready. So let's think of maybe nougat if it was bready, like a little harder of nougat. That's all right. That's all right. It's not something I would eat like so much of. I'm gonna give those to my brother, he'll eat those. <laughs> He eat anything. I see the one that be like, oh, well, it's okay. He'll damn near eat anything. The second oldest brother, he's like a fitness buff, so like he may try anything on certain days, but not every day. You know, catch him on his cheat day, he'll try some. Watch it. I'm gonna watch them down. Ooh, child. Now I'm gonna try some of these yogurts. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the same damn fork. Who gonna check me? Will anybody check Nicole? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. That's what I thought. I have a paper, I have a white paper towel here, so. So I got this coffee. Was it coffee and cream yogurt? I think let's let's add a little health to this. Let's try yogurt. I like yogurt because I here I go sound like a fitness buff. I like yogurt because. It's a good source of protein. It's a good source of protein. <laughs> there we go. Also, I love I love coffee ice cream. So I was like, I managed to try the yogurt. Actually, I take this back. I'm gonna try the banana first because I don't want I don't want to try this first before this. I don't know what flavor it's gonna interject, but boop bananas cream. I like bananas because I like bananas. So I think that's gonna be good. Mm, it smells good. It smells good. What is this? Oh, this is 140 calories. How many grams of protein? 11 grams of protein. I'm sorry, this is not supposed to be a fitness buff channel. Oh, I know this is gonna taste good. It tastes good. Is this like your standard um banana yogurt? I guess you would say. I like it. It's good. It's good. And I like. I like yogurt too. Another reason why I like yogurt. I like tangy stuff. So there we go. I like tangy foods. I love tangy foods. Oh, this kind of smell. This don't smell all that. I ain't gonna lie. It smells coffee like, but it's it has like something, some little after whiff that's like, I don't know. Let's see. It's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> I don't really like this. I 
really like this. I don't really like this. But there we go. I don't really like that. Co coffee and yogurt and Greek yogurt. Mm. I'll stick to coffee ice cream. Ooh, let's try this. I Shit. Whoops. I'm excited to try this. I'm excited to try this. So, low-key, like, the thing said, like, cheesecake. So, I think this is, like, mocha flavor type cheesecake. And it's not, like, you know, your standard, like, New York type cheesecake. It's something different, I guess. I tried the souffle cheesecake the other day. It was pretty good. I liked it. You know, like, the little, little jiggly Japanese cheesecake that we have? And I think it was, like, a version of that. Yeah, it's hard. Okay, I can't open it that way. We're going to try it this way. This is 240 calories, <laughs> as you wanted to know. Ooh, yeah, let's try this. Okay, this is the mocha version. This is the mocha version. There's something in here. I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. It's like a fresh. That was a freshness pouch. Oops. It's like bready. So the souffle cheesecake was like cheesecakey, but it had this hint of breadiness to it. And this is like an even more breadier version of that. Actually, no, I'll take this back. It said cheesecakes there. Okay. It has cream cheese in it. But this tastes a lot like I had their. I had the caramel mocha cake for my birthday, and this tastes a little bit like the cake in that. But a little denser, I guess I would say. The cake I have for the area, this is a little denser. Okay, not bad. It's not grand. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna you know, swing my titties by my mouth. This is pretty good. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. This is 240 calories too. Ooh, five grams of protein. Pretty good. Uh. Child, these broccoli's beat my ass. Shit. Ooh. They're trying to keep these bad boys fresh. Bad boys airtight. Ooh, sweet potato. Let's see. I know I'm smelling this though. I'm like smelling it before I eat it. This one was soft. Like this one's super soft. They're about the same, but something about biting it that this one was like, ooh. This thing was coming like, rest me with that softness, okay? Hmm. I'm trying to taste the sweet potato we nuts. Hmm. They're like, they taste almost the same, except like a hint of like their assigned flavors. Hmm. That's okay. They're kind of dense. So like, they're not like, it's not as like soft as like the souffle cheesecake. It's like, they're like densier and breadier. This one had like a slight mocha taste and then that one had like, I don't know if this, I don't know if I say it slightly tastes like sweet potato. I don't know. I guess it has a slight sweet potato taste. Let's see, what's my favorite one? I'm gonna give you my favorite one, let's see. My favorite thing is between these drinks and this bread. I know you're like, how do you put drinks and bread together? But you can, I will. Hmm. I'm gonna give it to the bread. I'm gonna give it to the bread, then I'm gonna give it to the drinks. And for the drinks, I'm gonna give it to this because this is something. This is flavor is was like more. This is something I didn't like expect, like something I haven't tasted, like something new to me. This flavor was really familiar, but they were both good. So I'm gonna give it to this, then this, then this. That's my top three. Then honorable mentions go to banana, the banana yogurt. Then I'm gonna give it to these two. I like the mocha a little bit better than this one, I think. Then I'm gonna give it to. I'm gonna give it to this. That's next. 
this is next. <laughs> I don't know how this yogurt is at the, the this yogurt is last, but this yogurt is last. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I hope y'all like enjoy watching me. Actually, low key though, oh, this will make me feel a little better. I guess I'm gonna drink some more of this juice. Low key today, I had my feelings hurt like super bad. So I have I have been watching these stocks, and I have been watching this one particular stock. I have been like stalking that stock because I wanted to get into it. But at the time I saw it, I was like, nah, it's too high. I'm gonna let it go down. So I had set, I had set like a limit price that once it got down to that price, I would buy it. But I saw it going on this downward trend, and I was like, ooh, it might get a little cheaper. So I set another limit price lower than that. Yesterday it had hit my ooh, yesterday it hit my first like limit price that I set for it. And I was like, ooh, okay, okay, okay. It's gonna go down more, right? Tell me why today, bitch, that stock went up almost 20%. It went up like 70% today. And I'm like, ooh. talk about a clown. Who's the clown? I'm the clown. Who's the clown? I feel like the epitome of a circus act. I feel like a clown was so pressed. I was like, ooh. I know you're not supposed to be emotional the way you invest, but I can't help but to have my feelings hurt because I was watching that. It's not like, like, it's not like it was a stock where, like, even, like, you wasn't going to have a chance to get that money anyway. You wasn't thinking about it when it was blowing up. So it was just, it just kind of hurt your feelings that you didn't know about it. It wasn't like that. This hurt my feelings because... It was on my watch list. Like, I'm prepping to buy this stock. It was on my mind. Heavy. I've been thinking about this stock. So that shit hurt my feelings. But I just tried this food, so I feel a little better. Bitch, I'm low-key super full from all that. I'm full as fuck. Ooh, that was crazy. I'm full as French toast, man. I'm full. Because <sighs> I need me a little protein. I'm still gonna eat some real food, but not a lot, cause I'm full. Goodness gracious! Let me the bread. Say, this bread fire. I'm gonna share some of my brothers, but I ain't gonna look to eat all of it. But yeah, my brothers are gonna. My brothers are gonna finish that. My brothers are making fun of me because he's like, "Why do you always pick at stuff? Why do you never eat a full meal? Like, just why do you pick at it?" And I'm like, "Cause variety is the slice of life." So pretty much when I try stuff, I always give them the rest. I'll, I'll just buy something to try it and then they'll get free food because I'm not going to eat it all. But let's see. I'm going to let them try this, but baby, I'm going to kill it. Like, I'm going to let them try it, but they can't have all of it. Yeah, my brother's going to have to eat this. My oldest brother, the one I was like, okay, he's going to eat this. <laughs> he's going to eat all of this because he likes coffee stuff. But even though it's not that good, he'll eat them or anything. So I have to think he's going to eat these. He's going to like these. I think he'll like these. And she, I don't really know if he's going to like them. He's going to be like, it's, it's okay. But he gonna eat them though. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Yeah, I'll let him eat this too. But thank you for watching. Tell me, guys. Tell me what you think would be the best. Like, which one do you would you want to try out of all of these? I'm giving it to the bread. I love bread. So tell me what you would try out of all of these. Which one do you think you would like best? I guess I was saying. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like subscribe share all that down so thank you for watching i hope you enjoy i'm trying to do a piece out with this bread bye but thank you for watching